Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video guide. This is a quick guide on how you can get your AR rank to exponentially increase with simple steps. Of course, this is how I got from AR rank 0 to AR rank 25. Of course, um, you guys are going to see I'm AR rank 26, but that's for another video. If you guys want to see how I get from Adventure Rank 25 to 30, just let me know in the comments and I'll be making sure that I will get a video out to you guys. Anyways, guys, this is not going to be a comprehensive guide. It's going to be quick so I can give you guys the quickest and fastest way to get from zero to hero in Genshin Impact in terms of experience. First things first, I'm going to be talking about the archon quests yes they give the most xp but every so often you're gonna go on a drought without these the reason is it's capped on a certain ar ranks so a lot of people keep asking me how do i get to air rank 10 that's when i can do an archon quest for venti and so on and so forth so this is how the intricacies get a little bit weird so in the total amount of experience that you can get in the game it's very limited to what you do for example you can only get the daily commissions which give so much ar rank xp when you hit around ar rank 12 which is pretty good it, you get there very quickly you just finish the archon quest you just go around the map a little and explore and you get to a rank 12 really fast anyways daily commissions are really good because they give a lot of XP and also, of course, Primer Gems. Who doesn't love some Primer Gems, am I right? Anyways, you get those XP and you can get these daily commissions once per day. Um, there's four commissions a day and then you get to the commission reward at the Adventurer's Guild. Anyways, after, the, after that, the second most important thing is the World Quests. You have to go around and find them in Liyue and Mondstadt. And both of them have different quests. So make sure you just go around in both cities and both areas and both regions. So you can find the most world quests. Some world quests will unlock after finishing other quests. So make sure you just do the quests that you have so you can unlock more. Anyways, after you do that, you're going to want to explore Dragon Spine. I know kind of sucks because of sheer cold but it does give really good materials resources and experience points and i highly recommend you guys do it and not to mention the dragon spine weapon that is there is pretty okay for anyone you want to use the staff for anyways other than that guys you don't want to miss any animoculus or geoculus in the map if you guys have a tough time finding all the geoculus in the map there is a link down below for Genshin Impact Interactive Map. This is definitely the most efficient way for you guys to play Genshin Impact and definitely helped me try to get some of these Animoculus and Geoculus. It's very easy to use. They, it has some guides just by clicking on the Animoculus or the Geoculus or whatever you need to find. There will be comments next to it. You'll see a link and you just click on that easy peasy you can see if you have any difficulties getting to that oculi other than that guys you just have to do some exploring you have to open the shrines of depths you got to finish the adventurer's handbook which you unlock pretty early in the game each task you finish in the adventurer's handbook gives you a hundred more xp so if you just want to grind out the xp doing the adventurer's handbook is not a bad idea at all I know grinding can be very tedious and annoying, but you're just going to have to go through it, explore the map, open chests, open shrines of depths, and go through domains. Make sure you guys spend all your resin every single day because if you don't, it's not going to recharge by itself. So you're going to have to spend all 160 of your resin so it can start recharging and you guys use it for the day after. Every domain or dungeon gives you 100 XP after every run. So let's say you want to do an artifact dungeon, you can do it four times a day. If you have condensed resin, 
but if you do not have condensed resin which i'm assuming you do not because you're in this adventure rank area you're gonna have to do it quite a few more times for example you have to do it eight times because it's only 160 resin anyways guys i hope this helped you out this is no way shape or form a comprehensive guide but a quick guide in order to help you guys get through your adventure rank conundrums and this is hours of footage guys and i hope you guys do appreciate it i put a lot of work into this i've went through so much it's all free to play I still have a ton of fragile resin and I'm not going to spend it until I'm AR rank 45 and I'm going to make sure to make a video on that as well. So if you guys want a video on how to get from AR rank 25 to 30, I'll make sure to do a video on that. Anyways guys, I hope you guys do enjoy and if you do, hit the like button, subscribe. There's a lot of you guys who have come to my channel from my video. So if you are unique, make sure you subscribe if you've gotten all the way through this video.